puppies, werewolves, <gasps> werewolf puppies. That would be the cutest thing. We could call it a were pup. I wonder if I can go find one. Jade is one of our lovable characters from the Darby Show. And today, we are going to make her room. Jade likes everything pink and cutesy, so this will be fun. I start by taking recycled cardboard and drawing rectangles. Cut them out and remember to always have adult supervision when working with sharp objects. To get two 12 by 15 rectangles. Then I cut a 12 by 12 square. I cover one of the 15 by 12 inch rectangles with scrapbook paper on the square, draw a window, cut it out, cover the raw edges with paper, then cover the walls with paper. To really show Jade's personality, we are going to paint splatter the walls. I'm using pastels. I place a little on my paintbrush, then use a piece of cardboard to splatter the walls. Maybe Jade is an artist who's not the best at keeping her work area neat. Now we just have to let this dry. While waiting, I cut and cover more cardboard, then glue it together to make a platform. Add a mattress and make doll bedding from a previous video. I found this Disney Tsum Tsum fabric and I thought it would be adorable for Jade's room. Add some pillows and a Surprisimals Care Bear. These make great stuffed animals for dolls. And in here we have Harmony Bear. And maybe a Pikmi Pop. These have little plush animals inside. So hopefully we will have some new stuffed animals for her bed. This one is... This is Snowy the Polar Bear. And it smells like a caramel apple. I just remove the string from the top to make a doll-sized stuffed animal. And the other one is Puff the Ram, which is super cute. Jade has a lot of stuffed animals. We take the dresser that we made in our doll galaxy room, so we have some furniture for the room. Now that the walls are just about dry, take clear plastic from packaging, cut out a rectangle, to glue over the window. Cut foam board to glue around the edge to make a frame for the window. Glue the walls to the floor to make a corner room. Now we can place the furniture inside to get a feel for the room. I'm thinking I want to move the bed onto this wall. Then I can place the easel from our doll art room in the corner. We even have some little paint brushes in there because we are pretending that Jade likes to paint. And we're gonna add some paint all over the easel because we want it to look used and maybe she's a little messy. And I added a few paint splatters to the corner for an extra touch. Use layers of poster board to make a paint palette, add paint, add miniature paintings. Thanks, little froggy, for painting these. And I'm gonna use some of the displays from Shopkins Blind Boxes to make a bookcase. I love this because it is so colorful. And we can fill it with mini toys like Monster High Minis, My Mini Mixie Cues, Shopkins, Littlest Pet Shop Season 2, because they look like cupcakes, Smooshy Mushy Mini Squishies, cover small pieces of foam board with magazine clippings, to make books, we can also use buttons and remit blind boxes to decorate the room. And in this blind box, we found a miniature magazine that you can cut out and make. Cut strips of cardstock and glue it over thread. Trim the corners to make a triangle, then repeat to make a banner to go around the top of the room. I fill her dresser with mini toys and I'm gonna use the collector's guide from Moj Moj to glue onto poster board to finish the room. So Jade, what do you think? Home sweet home. Yeah, this room looks perfect for her. Thank you for joining us while we made Jade's room. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And you're done. Happy crafting!
shout out to AG Grace Bay. What's up? Wow, Jade, your room is so colorful. And I love the paint splatter on the walls. Aw, thank you so much. But I didn't do it on purpose. Oh, wait, does that ice cream cone have fangs? Yeah, and if you like that, I know you're gonna love the wear pup. The wear what? You can turn me up now.